The mathematical problem that attracts the largest number of cranks is probably the angle trisection problem. We even have a word for those who claim to have solved this impossible problem. Trisecting any given angle using nothing more than a straight edge and a compass. But it took nearly 2,000 years for mathematicians to prove that the angle trisection was impossible. And this only became provable when they discovered deep connections between algebra and geometry. Straight edge and compass construction is mathematically equivalent to the four basic operations, plus the ability to take square roots. So we can construct any length that involves just these five operations. In particular, let's see how we can construct square roots. Given any length, we can declare this to be one unit, whether that is one Timo or one Carlotta. So how do we construct the square root of three? We can first double the unit length by drawing this circular arc, then using the straight edge to extend that line segment. Next, we can copy one unit somewhere using compass, then construct the perpendicular line from one endpoint, which you probably learned back in middle school. Now, from the other end, trace out an arc of length 2, and where this arc intersects the original line, you form the right triangle with the leg length of square root of 3. How about something more interesting? We can first construct square root of 2 and square root of 3. Then, we can copy those individual lengths using the compass, and glue them into a straight line using the straight edge. Now, I'm going to extend that segment by one more unit, find the midpoint, and then draw a semicircle. Now, we can draw a perpendicular line from the bottom dot, and the segment forms the altitude of a right triangle within the semicircle. Now, by the geometric mean theorem, the length of the altitude is exactly the square root of the upper segment. In general, we can use this technique to find the square root of any constructible quantity. But what about angles? For convenience, let's place the angle on a unit circle centered at the origin. Then, the upper segment terminates at the order pair cosine comma sine of the angle. Let's just call that x comma y. Since the double angle formulas are essentially quadratic equations, the coordinates for the half angle would involve square roots. And this shows that angle bisection is always constructible. Now, for the angle trisection, let's call the endpoint of the one-third angle a comma b. And let's call that angle phi. This is the cosine triple angle formula, which no one in their right mind memorizes, but it can be easily derived from the angle sum formula. Notice that it is a cubic equation, and in general, this cannot be solved for A without requiring cube roots. And the same thing holds true for the Y coordinate. So it is generally impossible to trisect an angle with just a straight edge and a compass. Now for a concrete example, the cosine of 60 degrees is one half. But the cosine of 20 degrees, which is one-third of 60 degrees, is non-constructible, and its close-form value requires cube roots. 